Hey guys, so today I've got another project to show you. This one's based on the Telemate Shield and that was produced by Bat Socks. You can pick one up for about £18 delivered. Uh, I'm also using an Arduino Mega 2560 and I'm using an Ethernet Shield. Now you can pick up an Ethernet Shield for around £12 from eBay, delivered from Hong Kong. I would love to be able to buy one from the UK but they're like 40 quid, which is far too much money for me to just to mess around in these stupid projects. Now this is the Telemate Shield. It's pretty awesome. It enables you to send signals from the Arduino to a television. It uses um, characters, so like A to Z, and then a, a bunch of other weird ASCII characters. And you can create a menu with that, and you can create games. There are several examples on the web, just have a look at them and you'll be able to see what you can do. You, do you know the game, do you know the game life? I don't know why I'm asking you a question, but, because <laughs> you'll never answer. Uh, there's uh, this simulation called Life, which is a developing character thing, and they all fly around the screen. Anyway, with this, you can display that on the television. So I'm using the Ethernet Shield and the AT Mega. Uh, AT Mega, is that what it is? Yeah, the AT Mega 2560. And this has got loads of hardware interrupts, which is really important for this project. Um, it means that uh, I can use a keyboard and I can write to the SD card and I can also do, well, do whatever and just have a hardware interrupt that stops with any kind of software stuff going on. Now they all, because they're shields, they all plug onto each other, so you don't have to worry about replicating pins or do it on a breadboard or anything like that. Uh, the, Telemate plugs in to your TV or component cables with one of these. So this end goes into your TV and this end, which is just your standard 3.5 millimeter jack, plugs in to the Telemate here. Uh, I'll show you what I'm using. I'm using a simple TV like this one of these battery powered portable televisions uh, and I'm just using the component cables to plug in. Now I've created a menu system which is interesting. It doesn't look very good, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but it means you can tweet from the Arduino which has always been a bit dodgy after they put all those extra security protocols in there. Um, and you can write to the SD card by typing, so you can write notes, you can read the notes. And I've also put a little game on there that I've made myself, which is tic-tac-toe. So, and it's two player. There's no winning scenario yet, unfortunately, but hopefully I'll get it finished at some point. So this is what it looks like now. Right, so here it is completed. Um, the extra wires coming out there go to this lovely, old, crappy, horrible PS2 keyboard that I'm using so that I can interact with this thing. So on the top there, you've got the Telemate. Underneath is the Ethernet shield. You can see the cable coming out there. And on the bottom is the Arduino, and it's all powered by this 9-volt battery and connecting via the component cables to the lovely little tele screen. Now, I need to put my password in, so hold on a second. Right, and so this is what you get. The DW Shell 1.0. I know the text isn't very easy to see, but there seems to be a bit of flicker going on. Um, it says tweet, write, and play. Now, you can tweet on this device, as I mentioned. You can play tic-tac-toe. So let's have a look at that. Uh, you could choose one or two players, so let's choose two players. Uh, and you can fill in all these bits here. Oh, eight, nine, there we go. Now there's no winning scenario yet because I haven't programmed that in, but you can see that they change depending on which one you choose. Uh, so it's a little bit of fun. Uh, you can press escape and it deletes all the variables that were set before. So when you go back, it's completely blank and it takes you back to the main menu. Now you can read notes on this. So you can, to read the first note, press two there are no notes set in here, so I won't do that, but you can also write them. So if I press two, you can write a note. I'm not going to, so we'll just escape back to the screen. Uh, and you can also tweet, so if we just go to that, 
and I've created a little menu for that, the Arduino, oh, I can't even say that, the Arduino Twitter client. You can press one to tweet and you can type something in there. So hello, oh, I can't spell, damn it. So I can just type anything, Arduino is cool, losers. And then you press tab, oh no, enter. So your tweet is, Arduino is cool, loser. Press tab to tweet, escape to quit. So just press tab and it should come up with sent. There we go. Oh, it's a little bit odd looking, but it means it's now tweeted. So I'll just show you that, hold on. So I can show you that it's sent. So this should, it should show you that it's sent. There we are, Arduino is cool loser. Not very grammatically correct. Anyway, that's pretty much it now, I guess. There's not much else to tell you. Uh, if you get one of these, I guarantee you'll have a lot of fun with it. Uh, you'll need to use the Arduino PS2 keyboard library, um, and you'll need to get hold of a, a PS2 keyboard that you can cut the end off and, uh, and pull out those cables. And then I've just, as you can see, ooh, there we go. As you can see there, I've just soldered some wires onto the end of them. There are plenty of little diagrams that you can find to figure out which, which one of those wires is which, but since there are only four, you can just experiment with it and, and find out how it works. Well, I hope you have a good time with that. Um, do try it and let me know how you get on.